Bunt, and I've always looked like this. Welcome to NEAS Prankline Edition. This week, we present to you an interview on a rap show, a deep dive into stand up comedy, and a short film about a police officer. Plus, a couple of quick hangs and some improv comedy with a flat earther. And so I'll send it over to our correspondent with the real fake shows. Frankie West. Frankie? Hey, my name's Frankie West, a.k.a. Fakey West. I do all the fake shows around here. Uh, this week, I'm very proud to present The Rap Show, starring Matt Cheese, uh, with guest Sharana Bishop. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Wrap. Uh, I'm your host, Matt Cheese. Uh, today we're joined by, uh, she's an activist. Uh, she has worked alongside Lauren Boebert um, and more recently, Tina Peters. Uh, her name is Sharana Bishop. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thank you, Matt. Thanks for having me on with you. I appreciate it. And thank you for your patience. No problem. And um, one thing we do at the beginning, we always play a little bit. I am obviously you know there was a bit of an influx of mega rappers is what they sort of they want to pigeonhole certain uh you know a style of rap or whatever um and i am i'm a hip-hop artist and that is a part of our program so i always start off um hopefully you'll be able to hear it i'm just going to play one of my new tracks can you hear it yeah uh, on the Okay, cool. Yeah. So yeah, you'll be able to listen and you can give, you know, your fair feedback. Feedback's a part of being an artist. So anything like your honest opinion. Shit. Well, hey. On the cheese. On the cheese. Fuck you, Joe Biden. One, two words for you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I do this shit every I mean, day. Walking right on the, the day for US of A. I do this shit like it's my job. I don't give this shit. It ain't a lot. Motherfuckers. Don't get with me if you aren't a patriot, spell it with a P. I don't need this CRT. I don't need any anything about you. And fuck you too if you got to say about anything to do with me and my boys. We are voting every day, red, red, red. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let's go. Hey now, am I being punked or what? Say USA all the fucking way. USA and Trump coming for you. Fucking chumps. I don't need anybody in my ear telling me that I am near to my death because I didn't take a shot. Well, guess what? I don't need your fucking vaccines, and I don't read magazines. So that's F. Joe Biden, uh, one of my new tracks. Um, well, so let me just tell you, I feel like I'm being punked right now, so you're going to have to let me know. I, am I being punked on your show right now? Because, like, I'm oh, American. Oh, mom. I, like, um... Yeah, Ashton Kutcher style. Uh, well, uh, I'll be honest with you. That is, um, I guess, fairly disheartening that you took that to be so apparently bad that you thought it was entirely a joke. No, no, no. That I don't was. Know. I, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, I wasn't. A, I was not familiar with your rap style. It's I have okay. To say. You can. Here, I got another one. You know. Yeah. I don't think I can handle another one. I. I don't think I can. I don't think we have the same genre of music. One and only Matt Cheese coming at you with ease. Yeah, huh? Woo, woo, woo. Matt, I'm gonna sign out, to buddy. to tell you today. I don't need somebody telling me which way. 
to live my life. I don't need no government interference. I will live the way I want to. Thank you very much. Woo! Yeah, yeah Joe Biden, not going to do the whole socialism thing. Now, thank you. <laughs> I love capitalism. Make money. That's what it's all about in this country anyway. Socialism means a lot of things. Means that against everything I like. And I hate communism as well. Has to do with all the things I hate. CRT is a word I've heard, an acronym. I don't know what it means. Uh, uh, oh, but I definitely know. Fuck this shit, it's got to go. I know that shit makes me mad. I know that it has to be sad. That was a tremendous interview, Frankie. And now now I'll send it over to our correspondent at the NEAS Film Center. It's Tad Richter. Tad? Thank you so much, Bun. It's no secret that NEAS is trying to get more filmish, and so that's why we're making short films. And this is our first one, and it's called Cop on Fire. Enjoy. Johnson, put a pot of coffee on. I'm clocking in for my radio patrol beat. Good morning, caller. You are on the air. What's on your mind? Hey, good morning, Buttercup. How are you? I'm doing good. Is this, uh, 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 Dino Cop? Hadn't heard oh, from you. Oh, no, anymore. sorry. Do you, do you know another police officer named Dodo Cop? No, my name's Steve, actually. So oh, yeah, yeah. Same it, as yours. It's Dodo yeah. Cop. Go ahead, man. I'm teasing. I'm te- I'm, I'm going to try to be very calm. I, our last phone call didn't go real well. And I, when I went back I and listened. the fact that you recognize that, that you have a responsibility in, the, in, the, in that conversation not going well. Oh, we both and do. It was a misunderstanding it. on your part. Uh, you, you, well, uh, no, but it was, but was it was clumsily worded. Well, I was understanding the situation entirely. You were, you were misunderstanding. I have a question. So no, I'm going to ask you this question and we'll go forward. Do you think I am uh, for defunding the police? Do you believe that? Yes. Then you're a dumbass. He hung up. Johnson, get a file started. This guy fucked up big. I'm calling back. Good morning, caller. You're on the Valdosta Transmission Hotline. What's on your mind? mind? You can get arrested for hanging up on a police officer, honestly. I I don't understand. I'm allowed to have my opinion. No, you you are, but but I'm going to ask you a question. It's just a simple question, and you lied to me. Have you ever served in the military? uh, uh, Go ahead and file your warrant. Come get me there, Dodo Cop. Johnson, get a warrant to the judge. Do people not fear me anymore? I'm calling back. Good morning, caller. Uh, you gonna try again? Why won't you not? Why do you keep resisting? Why will you not comply? Why will I not comply? Because you're calling my program. If you listen to this program, I think defunding the, the police. I said I I agree with you on defunding the police okay. that was my statement your, uh, I, that was I my statement that. so I, you I, understand I, I, where I, you I misunderstood me right i i do i understand i changed your mind you didn't change my it. mind i've been doing this for six freaking years you ain't changed my mind i've done rallies for the police I, everybody knows me i've raised money for the police i've had cookouts for the police we need to give more money for the police and for you calling up my program and saying I defund the police is just a lie. Now, now I have a question. Have you ever served in the military? Sir? I have not. One of the biggest regrets so in my life. So why are you pretending, why are you pretending like you are with, with oh, remember everyone deployed and all of this uh, 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 stuff around you? You don't even have a uniform. If you want to do it properly, I'm not in the military. military uniform. You know put what? Put on a military uniform and then you can go and actually get the good service and everything. You can actually go to a, a you know, well, thank you for your service. They'll give you a discount, everything, especially Memorial Day. No, I right. buy, I buy, gonna, buy gonna service gonna members lunch. I buy right. serv- uh, service members lunch. If I wear my uniform, will you buy lunch for you me? You don't have to wear your uniform, young fella. If you want to come up and talk to me face to face, I will take you out to eat. I sure will. Come on. Yeah, I'll take you out to eat as well. Uh, you know what's on the menu? A freaking knuckle sandwich if you keep talking this way. 
what can I, what would be the one thing that I could say to you that would piss you off the worst? You could say, oh, my name is Steve and I have a big, huge, fat butt that does stinky poops out of it and I pee out of my butt and poop out of my penis sometimes. That would make me so angry. That would make you so angry. Yeah, say that you have a big butt and it smells and you pee out of it and you poo out of your penis. Man. I'm going to figure out who I you are honestly, one day. I'm going to figure out who you are. Lose, I would lose my mind if you said that, Steve. I would never recover. Say you have a big butt and you pee out of it. So if I was to say, uh, look, if you'll come up here for lunch one day, I'm going to kick you in your vagina. That wouldn't make you mad. I don't have a vagina. I can hang up on the police officer. If you are one, you just got hung up on again. So if I've broken the law, go swear out a warrant and bring your ass on. I'm looking forward to it. I don't have a vagina. What an incredible, poignant film. And now I'll send it over to formerly the host of this program, but now just a lowly correspondent, it's Prank Stallone. Prank? Thanks so much, Bun. I just want you to know there's absolutely no hard feelings for me, buddy. I don't, I don't care. Sometimes when we make a call, we know what the result's gonna be. It's gonna be a quick hang up, but it's still fun to do it, and that's why we created this segment called Quick Hangs. Check it out. Laura, what the hell happened in your primary? How, how'd you lose to that guy? Hello? I was looking to speak with Ben. Yeah, this is he. Hey, Ben, that's James with Liberty Live. Um, I was just curious, uh, has your wife ever mentioned to you that her dad was John McCain? Back already, and now I'm going to send it over to our Fun Bunch Prank Collective and Daryl Craft. Daryl? Thanks so much, Bun. Wow, your name's Bun. Maybe I should put a wiener in here, in you. Maybe I should put my wiener, my dick into you and your ass. <laughs> no, but seriously, I had a great conversation about stand-up comedy this week with renowned Christian comedian Brad Stein. And as well, our friend Butch talked to his old pal Jamie and did some improv comedy. Let's check that out now. <laughs> I don't know why they want to fight, Butch. Something must be in the water. Something must be in the water, maybe alcohol. <laughs> you can't shut me down because my opinion don't coincide with, with the bullshit that y'all are pushing up there at YouTube or Facebook or Google. Yes, sir. You know my, you know my dad is all this about opinion. Okay. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, you what, Butch? Someone was at your house. I'm not at home, Butch. I'm at work. Oh, okay. Happy work day, but um, you know what my dad used to always say about uh, opinions? They're like assholes? He said opinions are like prolapsed anuses. Everybody has one. Everybody's got one. My dad had a prolapsed anus. He had a prolapsed anus? Yeah, he just said everybody has one, but I never did have one. You ever done improv comedy? No, I've never done improv comedy there, Butch. Guess what? I want to want to break your seal on it. Want to do an improv comedy with me right now? Do an improv comedy scene? Yes, yes, yes. I've been uh -oh. I've been learning about improv comedy from my friend Daryl and uh, he, what did he tell you? About, okay, so we need a scene from um, a location. You have a location, Jamie? How about the moon, Butch? Okay, the moon, Jamie. Oh, you go first. Uh, you go first. I ain't getting out there on the moon. I don't know what's out there. 
No, you go first. You go first. Well, let me be the. Let me do this one step. Let, hold on. Let me think of what I'm gonna say. Oh, think about your best words, dude. I got it, Butch. I got it right here. This is one giant step for mankind, one giant leap for humanity. What? Bullshit on a damn a movie set. Oh, improv comedy, one giant leap for improv comedy on the moon with my friend Jamie, aka Mr. Yeah, well, that was pretty good, wasn't it, Butch? That was a good we, scene. We got. There's no such thing as conservative and a liberal and a Democrat. And not on the moon, there's not. No, there were the scenes done, Jamie. It's oh, I thought we were still doing the scene. Scene's over now. You got to say cut then, Butch. No, nah, not an improv, actually. What they do you say? The scene. I'm not supposed to say cut at the end. They say scene. Oh, they say scene. I got you. Scene. Okay. Scene. <laughs> Clip it. <laughs> Clip it. That's Butch. I got kind of the, I don't even know how I did this with the shirt. Okay. You got I, green screen going, but I have no idea how I, my shirt's not green. It's white. I have no idea what's, what's happening with that. Hello everyone. Welcome to crafting a career. Uh, I'm your host, D craft, Daryl craft, um, stand up comedian, touring level stand up comedian. Uh, and I am today joined by, uh, Brad Stein, AKA God's comic. Brad, thank you for joining us to, to chop it up about stand up comedy today. Well, actually, I didn't want to, uh, but I was informed by the judge that I had no option. So here I am. Uh, my best. Uh, it's a, I'm on a work release program. So no, I've still got, no. yeah, I got another 20 hours of community no, service. Come on. So it, trust me, it had nothing to do with me wanting to be on oh, your Oh, come on now. Okay. No, no, but come on. Now, he's joking around. We're he's he's a he, he, he we're we're fran, uh, mutual friends of each other's work and brad you are god's comic how did you get how did god choose you and what a choice he made huh. i i think scraping the barrel is what happened it's like god was looking to and fro over the earth and he said look at my look at my servant brad who apparently uh uh is willing to take whatever uh options i give him uh, Are you, you know, being self, you're being self-deprecating at the moment. Yeah. You're being self-deprecating. It's a, it's a style of humor that is very, very popular. You had an album that was called a special that was called put your helmet on. Why, why put your helmet on? It was called put a helmet on. And put it a was helmet kind on. Of the, yeah. And it was, uh, it actually was derived from one of my routines that I was doing. Is the uh, audience that, supposed to put the helmet on? Well, no, they, they so it was derived. You, and from you didn't wear it either. I don't know. I was anti. I'm an right. older guy, so uh, I didn't grow up with helmets and shin pads, and you know, we just <laughs> we just went all out and built ramps and jumped. We just rode bikes. skateboards when we used to go out and um, you know do do uh, our playing. It was hardcore to the bone, basically, yeah. and we would get hurt and we would hurt each other, and a lot of my friends would actually die. This is a serious question about comedy nowadays. Has sure. you has you found that it's harder to do? You're saying you're doing clubs before. Is that it? Because Christian comedy isn't so is expected to be mainstream now. There's so many layers to the question you're asking me. Uh, uh, honestly, thank you. So many. I'm a stand-up comedian, touring level, and I've been struggling on this scene a lot lately, and be and before lately as well. Mm. I've been having a tough time to get getting booked, finding proper audiences for conservative comedy. And I've made a consideration and I've thought about getting into Christian comedy to find an audience um, mm. it, to, to, for my comedy um, because I'm not I don't go to church. It, I haven't I don't go I haven't gone for well, but. I was thinking it might be a good and how do I break into being a Christian comedian and could I do one of my jokes and you could be sure. just an audience, a, a, honest audience about it if this would fly at a church okay. uh, sort of show. Okay. I did a poop poop in my dipe dipe. Oh, I filled it up. I filled it up. Oh, it's like a glass of wine, the dipe dipe and the 
and the and my poop is like the wine being poured in, and I pooped so much. <laughs> little pooper, I pooped it. Little pooper. <laughs> oh, it's all over my legs, and it smells so much. It smells like waste. Uh, I don't have anything to clean up my little duties. Uh, I guess you could do that at a church. I think they probably would be confused. It's cool to hear that because it's not flying. It's not going over at when I'm doing that. I'm encountering a lot of cancel culture type stuff when I'm doing that sort of material. Just give me the floor for a second. A, what is the single most important uh, element uh, of comedy? Uh, what it make? What Jokes. is the most crucial Jokes. elements? It's it's well, Jokes. it's laughter, Humor. right? I mean, if, if they're not laughing, if it's not funny, then you're not doing comedy. So, okay? it, so, so if, if they're laughing, it's funny. Period. I, well, of course. So, if I were Listen. to say, for example, <clears throat> and I do this in my act, and I know this wouldn't fly at the church, but I'll say, what if Jesus was bisexual? And he was sucking, and he was a size queen, and he was sucking on big ones, and that will get a lot of people upset. But at the end of the day, at the bottom of the line, it is funny, and and so it's like you can you can disagree, and also my, we don't even know if it's true because there's no way to know if it's true because it's not videos or anything. But my final question is: If God is so great, how come I can't get booked anywhere? Um, like I said, you're a cool guy as well, and uh, hey, maybe see you at the pews. Uh, well, I would recommend coming out there and seeing what uh, God might have for you. Good to meet you. See ya. Bye. Thanks so much, everybody. That was our first ever edition. If you want to watch some more pranks, you can head over to the Patreon, patreon.com slash not even a show. We'll be showing episodes of our bitterest rival. It's This Is A Show. This week, they have a short film on Patriot Pete and an interview with a candidate for New Hampshire governor. Please do subscribe if you can. That's how they pay my salary, and I'm not cheap. <laughs> Bye.